Oh boy! Today it happened. Matt Tiff goes to Cup next year, this year upcoming season. Yay! Another guy that is not that great. He's a little talent, but what's he done with his career? Nothing. Drives a KBM, doesn't do shit. Goes Red Horse Racing, doesn't really do shit. He goes to Joe Gibbs, doesn't do shit again. Goes to Richard Childress and actually tries to fucking do shit. He had a shot at Richmond earlier this year when. That's about it. Because Tiff is not that great of a driver. I don't under fucking sand why talentless motherfuckers, well actually Tiff is kind of talented, but fucking guys that cannot really do shit are getting fucking rides at fucking cup level cars. Look at the fucking state of this shit, man. Look at the fucking state of this. This is another fucking tragedy. A talented driver, you got multiple fucking talented drivers that are not in riots. Oh, let me guess, Austin fucking Terrio and fucking Brad Moffat. But no, we're going to sign someone who actually doesn't have any fucking talent. But hey, what do I know? It's 2018 in NASCAR, and it doesn't matter how much talent you have anymore. It matters how much money you have and how big of your paycheck is going to be. Because teams don't care anymore about how much talent you have. Nope, you got to be making that much money to survive in this fucking sport. Isn't that incredible to me? Isn't that incredible? I don't understand why this guy is getting a ride this upcoming year. I don't get it. I heard about this, and I thought it wasn't going to happen, and I'm like, well, Front Row just fucked themselves. I don't think Front Row will last with this decision. They could assign anybody else. They could assign. They could assign even fucking Ryan Reed, and they would have probably had a shot to do something. But no, we're gonna sign Matt Tiff, who really hasn't done much. Unfucking believable. Unfucking believable. I cannot believe that a talentless guy. Well, I keep saying talentless. He's not bad, but I cannot believe this guy is getting a fucking ride. It is disgrace to motorsports. Shouldn't be in cup, man. Shouldn't be in cup. Come the fuck on. You gotta be fucking with me right now. You gotta be shitting me right now. It's unfucking believable. It's unfucking believable. Oh man. Today's been great. Yesterday's great. Fernando Alonso got the NGB not swap rights. But it was great yesterday. And Fernando announced a couple days. Thanks. And Fernando announced that he's gonna run. 24 hours Le Mans with the Indy 500. That was cool. But today this shit happens. Look at the state of this shit. Why the fuck is Matt Tiff getting run full time? In cup. It's not ready. Not even close to being ready. But yeah, we're going to let him come in. What a fucking disgrace, man. What a fucking disgrace. And what a fucking shit show. I was mad when Brandon Jones announced last year that he was going to be joining the 19 team. I made a post on there. What a fucking disgrace it is. Matt Tiff's a Fucking disgrace. Unfucking believable. Unfucking real. You know what Richard Chose do? He'll probably pick up someone who is fucking talentless because Daniel Hemrick actually is talented. He's the only fucking talented driver of Richard Chose racing other than Austin because Austin has actually talent. Unlike some people say he doesn't. I'm not going to mention names. But he is talented. Austin Dillon's talented. Matt Tiff, <laughs> not, not the most talented guy out there. But he doesn't deserve it. He does not deserve it. Why is he getting a ride? It doesn't make sense to me, man. It don't make sense to me. I can't fucking believe it. God, NASCAR in a state of this shit, man. God, shit's got to fucking change these fucking sponsorship drivers. Fuck this shit. Thank you guys for watching.